Hello guys, Julia is here, welcome to my YouTube channel and this video will be the first video of my new series sounds like Netflix <laughs> about Russian verbs if you have been learning Russian for some time you probably noticed that there are two different types of verbs uh, imperfective NSV and perfective SV. Why it is so important? Let's uh, have a look at this example. Я читала книгу. Я читала книгу. Я прочитала книгу. So in both um, sentences I used uh, the verb to read. In English it's to read, but here it's читать, here it's прочитать. What's the difference in the, in the meaning? So, я читала книгу, the verb читать, to read, but it's uh, imperfective form. Это глагол NSV. So here I understand you were reading a book, so it's it kind of... Uh, past continuous you were reading a book for five minutes for two minutes for one hour i don't know but it uh it implied that you were reading a book while here я прочитала книгу the verb прочитать this is sv perfective form i understand you finished reading this book the action is finished you close the book you know the plot that's it so you see the same verb to read but not completely different meanings but quite different i guess that's why to know which verb to use is very important before talking about differences of um, using these verbs let's uh, talk about verbs formation I don't want you to be an expert in morphology, but just for you information how, um, how we formate these verbs. The first uh, way uh, using prefix. And this is for me, I think, and for the students, the easiest way. Делать. So here you see the, verb, the verbs NSV. And you just add a prefix and voila, this is SV. <laughs> Easy, right? Let's see. Делать, сделать. Делать, сделать. To do. Писать, написать. To write. Думать, подумать. Think. Смотреть, посмотреть. To watch. Болеть. Заболеть to get sick. Слышать, услышать to hear. Готовить, приготовить to cook. Пить to drink. Выпить или попить. So this is option number one. Prefix. Option number two. Uh, suffixes. By using suffixes, uh, we also we can make uh, per perfective or imperfective uh, verbs. Let's see. Бросать, бросить to throw away. Решать, решить to solve. Повторять, повторить to repeat. Спрашивать, спросить to ask. Покупать купить to buy, вставать встать to get up, давать дать to give, узнавать узнать to recognize. So you can see that these um, verbs were created with suffixes, but there is a like little remark with prefixes because look at this one. Where is it? Where is it? Покупать, купить. You can see that in this case, uh, глагол NSV 
uh, imperfective uh, verb was uh, created with uh, also um, prefix. So if you see the prefix, you will think right away that mm, probably this is SV. It's not always the case. That's why it's necessary to remember the verbs in pairs. So every time you pick up, you see a verb, you check is it NSV, SV, and you write down another, another form of verb. So right away you have two forms. This is very important. And uh, way number three, when the words are actually different, you cannot say that they are kind of paired together, that this is one uh, verb of different uh, forms. Говорить, сказать, to speak, to talk. Брать, взять, to take. Понимать, понять, to understand. Класть, положить, to put. Находить, найти, to find. Ложиться, лечь, to lay down. Садиться, сесть, sit down. Становиться, стать, to become. So this is just as you can see like a small tiny list of all possible verbs. In the comments I will uh, leave uh, a table with some more examples that you can uh, learn by heart, unfortunately. And now let's talk about the uh, differences in use of uh, perfective and imperfective verbs. Now let's see when uh, should we use NSV verbs and when we should use SV verbs. And first point I'd like to pay your attention is that NSV verbs we use in all tenses, past, present, future, while SV verbs we use only in past and future tense. This is very important. Now when do we use um, NSV verbs? Point number one, when we give some general information about yourself or about somebody else. For example, Я люблю рисовать. Я люблю рисовать. Или Я не люблю рисовать. General information. Я говорю на русском языке. Я говорю на русском языке, я говорю на английском языке, но я не говорю на китайском языке. Number two, repeated action, when something happens uh, regularly. For example, я часто смотрю фильмы. Here you can, uh, sometimes you just, you can skip часто я смотрю фильмы, yeah, but if you want to, to precise that, like, you often watch movies, я часто смотрю фильмы, редко, иногда, никогда, один раз в год, два раза в месяц, all these uh, verbs uh, will indicate that you need to uh, use an SV verb. And last one, process. Uh, I gave you the example before when uh, we said я читала книгу. Here we, we feel that it was an action. We don't know two minutes, one hour the whole day, but we want to stress that it took some time. I was reading a book. Я готовлю обед целый час. The whole hour I'm cooking lunch. Я готовлю обед целый час, the whole hour. This is NSV. Moving to SV. SV is always about the result. Because we used it, for example, in the past or in the future, we need the result. Я сделал домашнее задание. Finished. I closed all my books, all my notebooks, done. I can watch TV. Я сделала домашнее задание. Я нарисовала картину. Here uh, we have the example, uh, yeah, no, bad example. Uh, я нарисовала картину means that 
again finished the painting is done we can put it on the wall we have the result result is always as well and second point it's one time action or uh, like a fact about past small small not not regu not regular not something you do uh, often something that you did just once or you want to give us short information about your past for example вчера в час дня я пообедал that's it just just a fact that yesterday at one o'clock i had lunch that's it you can say я обедал целый час я обедал вчера целый час the whole hour i was having lunch or you can say вчера в час дня я пообедал the action is finished it was in the past that's it i hope it's clear um, now let's practice there are nine sentences here and you need to tell me which verb uh, did i use nsv or sv small reminder here that uh, nsv we use with past present future tense when it is general information repeated action and when it's a process sv we use with past and future tenses when there is result and when it's a fact or one-time action so uh, i will read you a sentence and you need to ask yourself a question what tense is it if it's present right away it's nsv is it a regular action do you see such words as nikogda chasta kazhdy den then it's nsv is there a result then it is sv is it one time action sv as well so the first um sentence ya kharasho plavayu ya kharasho plavayu the first thing that you notice that this is present tense and this is general information about myself ya kharasho plavayu so this is nsv second sentence я нашла новую работу я нашла новую работу we can see that this is past so from the tense we cannot say what um, verb is it but я нашла новую работу first thing that you notice that uh, you found a new job so you have a result you have a new job your, your new job is the result of your action and then it's one-time action you're not looking for a job every day you're not finding a job every day it's one-time action so this is sv я понимаю китайский язык я понимаю китайский язык this is nsv because first of all present tense and then general information вчера я приготовила торт вчера я приготовила торт first of all we have result торт я приготовила торт action is finished and we see that this is one time action вчера я приготовила торт i'm not cooking cakes every day я готовлю а uh, каждый день yes this is nsv я приготовила вчера торт one time action sv я выучила пять новых слов я выучила пять новых слов uh, is it a regular uh, action mm, no я выучила пять новых слов no it's not regular we don't see uh, that it happens every day or once a month is there a result yes we have a result new words one time action exactly я выучила пять новых слов sv я занимаюсь спортом каждый день and here you have a big help 
каждый день it means the action is regular. So right away this is NSV. Мы вчера гуляли три часа. Мы вчера гуляли три часа. We were walking for three hours yesterday. Here you see I disappear again. Here you see again that it's a process. That the action was happening for three long hours. NSV. Я убрала в доме. Теперь тут чисто. Я убрала в доме. Теперь тут чисто. Result. It's clean now. Я убрала в доме. So this is SV. And я иногда завтракаю в кафе. Я иногда завтракаю в кафе. Big help. Я иногда. So this is regular action. Я иногда завтракаю в кафе. This is an SV. Hope you did it correctly with me because now we will conjugate. We are going to learn how to conjugate. There are still some nuances of conjugation and we will do some exercises. When we are talking about conjugation, it is very important to keep in mind that verbs SV don't have present form. It means that when we conjugate them as present, it will be future. So let's have a look at our first table, the verbs uh, that were created with uh, prefixes, the, the easiest uh, group. And we take the example делать, сделать, and let's conjugate it as present. Я делаю, ты делаешь, он, она делает, мы делаем, вы делаете, они делают. Perfect. This, as usual, probably you know already verbs conjugation. Сделать, this is SV. We conjugate it as this verb, we just add the prefix s. Сделаю, сделаешь, сделает. Мы сделаем, вы сделаете, они сделают. But it will be future tense. Column number two, the verbs that were made uh, with suffixes. And here, unfortunately, I don't, I don't have any tips. You just... Um, some of them you need to remember by heart. For example, here you can see that the letters, uh, consonants are changing. And some of them uh, follow the rules perfectly. Бросать, NSV. Я бросаю, ты бросаешь, он бросает. Мы бросаем, вы бросаете, они бросают. This is present tense. Бросить, SV. Я брошу, ты бросишь, он бросит, мы бросим, вы бросите, они бросят. And automatically, as SV don't have present tense, this will be future. And when uh, SV and NSV are completely different words, well, here uh, again, uh, remember by heart or um, if they um, follow the conjugation rules, then good for you. Говорить. Uh, я говорю, ты говоришь, он говорит, мы говорим, вы говорите, они говорят. Present tense. Сказать. This is uh, SV verb. Я скажу, ты скажешь, он скажет, мы скажем, вы скажете, они скажут. And this will be future tense. Cool? <laughs> Practice time. Let's have some more examples and let's do this exercise. So in brackets you will see two verbs. NSV and SV. And you need to fill in the gaps choosing the, uh, the more suitable one. Я целый день тарара эту песню могу теперь ее спеть. 
учить, выучить means to learn. So, я целый день, я целый день, which one um, should we put, SV or NSV? Целый день, so there is a process, so we need NSV verb, so this is this one. Я целый день, um, я целый день учила. Я целый день учила эту песню, могу теперь ее спеть. We have a result. Могу теперь ее спеть. Now I can sing it. Yes? We have a result. So we say вы учила. Я целый день учила эту песню, выучила, могу теперь ее спеть. I was learning this song for the whole day. Whew, done, the process is finished, learned it, now I can sing it. Вчера я -та -та -та, в кафе, хотя обычно дома. So let's start with second part, because I think it's easy, because we have this, uh, not, not this one, this one. Обычно, обычно, it means that this action happens Regularly, so this is NSV. Хотя я обычно NSV обедаю, обедаю. Я обычно обедаю дома, но вчера я пообедала в кафе. This is one time action. Я пообедала. Дала. Вчера я пообедала в кафе. Yesterday I had lunch in a cafe. Although usually I eat at home. Хотя обычно я обедаю дома. Я та -та -та, задачу два часа и наконец-то ее решать means to solve. So here we have time indicator. Два часа. Two hours, I was doing something for two hours, so this is definitely NSV. Я решала, я решала задачу два часа и наконец-то ее решила. Finally, the action is done. SV и наконец-то ее решила. Next, uh, number four. Мы никогда не ужасы, но вчера та -та -та, в кино. Никогда, this is also kind of regular action that we don't usually do. Никогда, so this is NSV. Мы никогда не смотрим. Ужасы. We never watch horror movies. Мы никогда не смотрим ужасы. No, but there is an exception. Yes, today we watched it in the cinema. So this is like exception. This is one time action. Но вчера посмотрели в кино. And last example. Я много та -да, но вчера ничего не Da -da -da. Sad example. <laughs> я много. Я. Uh, let's 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 start with the second part. I think it's easy. Но вчера ничего не. So uh, this is like uh, here. Я много. It's it doesn't say usually, обычно, but it implies. Я много что-то делаю обычно. Но вчера, but yesterday, but yesterday, so you can feel that here it's not usual situation, it's kind of exceptionally, yesterday I didn't eat anything, so this will be SV. Но вчера я ничего не съел, но хотя обычно, but usually, я много, we are talking about our habits, я много ем. Я много ем, I eat a lot, like in general, usually. Но вчера ничего не съел, but yesterday I didn't eat 
anything. This will be one-time action. That's why we put as well. Well, I hope it's small as clear. This was just a small introduction of big world of SV and NSV words. My, 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 my neighbors are doing some renovations. It's been super uh, loud these days. But so this was my first video. Stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any uh, other videos. Thanks for watching and bye bye.